The other question I get is what universities and peer reviewed studies do you have on this? And I want to explain this because there uh, we, we are in progress on about 20 or 30 different trials right now. Um, this technology was released at the end of 2019. And most farmers in the United States were telling us, you know, farmers in South America and in, in tropical zones, they jumped on this and they started using it, right? Farmers in the United States all you know during the winter time said okay this looks good but i want to wait and, and have these conversations during the springtime when i'm closer to planting so we kept getting all these people saying yeah we want to try it but let me get to uh let me get to the springtime and even universities were saying okay good we, we had i think five different studies already lined up uh for 2020 you know for the kimonasi plant booster with different universities wanting to run different trials and um, we were excited because we knew we were going to have the chance to really uh, prove this technology on, on real world farms and in university trials. And uh, we were super excited in 2020 for this for the release. And then uh, come March or late February, March, of course, we all know what happened in 2020. You know, COVID hit. Uh, farmers were really scared because they didn't know. Um, a lot of them didn't know if they were even going to have workers to work on the farm or how it was going to affect them. A lot of farmers that cater to the restaurant industry um, actually lost their business or, or really had heavy, heavy losses because their whole market just evaporated instantly and you know, they couldn't do anything about it. In terms of university research, all the universities that we had agreements in principle to get these studies underway, all were saying, look, everybody has to stay home. You know, we're, we're maintaining our long range trials just uh, because we, we have to, but everything's on a complete need, need only basis and we're not taking on any new trials right now because you know everybody's forced to stay home so all those university trials that we had lined up in 2020 all got postponed and we were like <laughs> all the farmers want to say well, hey we want to see these results we want to see this independent study you know that's not you saying that your technology is great but we want these independent researchers verifying and validating what you're saying and we were all on board to provide that evidence but then COVID hit and we couldn't even nobody could even do research so uh, we soldiered on as best we could and we got a, a lot of farmers going, but a lot of what was supposed to already be done in 2020 when we launched this product, we had to postpone it this year. And right around now is harvest time and a lot of these studies are, are wrapping up. Well, we're seeing some sort of tremendous initial results and early data on these uh, results. And, you know, again, we're just waiting for those final harvest numbers and the, and the peer reviewed studies so we can share them with our farmers.